Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing great today. So today is a special day because we are starting a brand new game and by the poll results in my community page and on Patreon, it is to be Dragon Age Origins. So I am quite intrigued by it because I heard so many good things about it that it has incredible characters, incredible story, uh, it is on the longer side, so that should be interesting, considering the frequency of my uploads. And I have a special outfit for every time that we play this game, which is this! <laughs> Doesn't it look amazing? <laughs> I have to show you guys this thing. Look at this. Look at this. This was made by one of my patrons, and I absolutely love it. It is heavy as hell, but it looks gorgeous. The craftsmanship is just amazing. Honestly, I can barely find any seams in these rings, so this is awesome. Thank you so much for <laughs> for doing this. I've never had a chainmail before. This is my very first one, and I will wear it with pride. <laughs> I also have this shoulder pad that I found that I am currently wearing on the wrong shoulder because technically I think it's supposed to go on my sword arm and I'm right-handed but I can't reach the clasp if I put it on the other shoulder so here we are let's pretend that my Dragon Age character is going to be left-handed because why not oh anyway should we dive in have I babbled enough <laughs> let's get into it and so is the golden city blackened with each step you take in my hall Marvel at perfection, for it is fleeting. You have brought sin to heaven and doom upon all the world. Huh. Okay. The Chantry teaches us that it is the hubris of men which brought the darkspawn into our world. The mages had sought to usurp heaven, but instead they destroyed it. They were cast out, twisted and cursed by their own corruption. They returned as monsters, the first of the Darks. They became a blight upon the lands, unstoppable and relentless. The Dwarven Kingdoms were the first to fall, and from the deep roads, the Dark Spawn drove at us again and again, until finally we neared annihilation. Huh. Women from every race, warriors and mages, barbarians and kings. The Grey Warden sacrificed everything to stem the tide of darkness and prevail. been four centuries since that victory, and we have kept our vigil. We have watched and waited for the Darkspawn to return. But those who once Yikes. called us heroes have forgotten. We are few now, and our warnings have been ignored for too long. Late. 
for I have seen with my own eyes what lies on the horizon. It's not Maker, looking good. Help us all. Okay. So mages caused all of this, I think, is what I got from there. But then we have the order, I guess, of Grey Wardens. Hmm. The background you select will determine which six distinct opening stories you play through. It also affects how characters respond to you throughout the game. Ooh, okay. Um, well, we're going to be this. Let's see. So we have... Human, Elf, and Dwarf. The most numerous yet the most divided of all the races. Only four times have they ever united under a single cause. The last being centuries ago. Religion and the Chantry play a large part in human society. It distinguishes them culturally from elves and dwarves more than anything else. Humans can be warriors, rogues, or mages. Oh, racial benefits! I see! It's this kind of game, then. <laughs> uh, plus one strength, dex, magic, and cunning. These are good stats. Once enslaved by humans, most elves have all but lost their culture, scrounging an impoverished living in the slums of human cities. Ooh, that's different. Only the nomadic Dalish tribes still cling to their traditions, living by the bow and the rule of their old gods as they roam the ancient forests. Welcome nowhere else. Elves can be warriors, rogues, or mages. Two willpower, two magic. Okay. Dwarf, rigidly bound by caste and tradition. The dwarves have been waging a losing war for generations, trying to protect the last stronghold of their once vast underground empire from the Dark Swan. Dwarves are very tough and have high resistance to all forms of magic, thus preventing them from becoming mages. I see. Okay. So what do we want to do? We have a warrior. A mage that can't be a dwarf. And a rogue. I see. Um, is there such a thing as like a battle mage? Because I really want to try a magic class, but I'm, I'm kind of battle ready, <laughs> if you know what I mean. So maybe I should be a warrior then. Warriors are powerful fighters, focusing on melee and ranged weapons to deal with their foes. They can withstand and deliver a great deal of punishment, and have a strong understanding of tactics and strategy. Specializations for a warrior include Berserker, Templar, Champion, and Reaver. I wish there was like a tooltip about each one of them so I could actually understand what they mean. Like, I mean, I understand what a Berserker can be, but Templar? In some games, they are like half magic users. Are they in this one? I don't know. <laughs> and what is a champion and a reaver? That is a complete um, mystery. Uh, wait, magic. Wielding a power as dangerous as it is potent, you know that magic is a curse for those lacking the will to control it. You anxiously await your harrowing, the one chance to prove yourself against the demons lurking without and within. Succeed or be slaughtered by the knights who ward against your kind. Ooh, that sounds intriguing. I don't see any class bonuses, though. That's a bit of a bummer. What about here? Rogues are skilled adventurers who come from all walks of life. All rogues possess some skill in picking locks and spotting traps, making them valuable assets to any party. Tactically, they are not ideal for frontline fighters, but if rogues can circle around behind the target, they can backstab to devastating effects. Rogues specializations are Ranger, Bard, Duelist, and Assassin. 
4 dexterity, 4 willpower, and 4 cunning. Or 2 willpower. Why doesn't a magic class give you any class benefits? That's a bit strange. Okay. So. What should we do? Berserker, Templar, Champion, and Reaver. Maybe I will understand better when I actually start. I kind of want to be a magic person, though. But I don't know if that would mean that I would always be in the back of the party, just sniping them with spells. Which is kind of my thing, to be honest. But sometimes it's nice to get into the fray, especially when you have chainmail. Um, let's go with this. And if I regret it, I'll just replay. Greetings. All right, I am going to try to replicate my current situation here, so I'll catch you guys in a little bit. All right, here we are. Um, not a lot of options for longer hair, but I figured I would go with the braids because of the hair accessory that I got going here. So, um, I don't think it's really close, but that's the best I could do. <laughs> Let's get to it. Oh, points! Oh my. Oh, nice, 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 nice. So, willpower, determination, and mental fortitude. High willpower mages can cast more spells thanks to deeper mana pool. Ooh, willpower's mana, gotcha. Magic, that makes sense. Cunning. Determined how well character learns and reasons. Most skills such as herbalism or combat tactics require a quick mind to master. Interesting, so I probably need quite a bit of it then. Constitution. Represents health and resilience. Higher constitution directly increases the amount of damage a character can take before falling on the battlefield. That makes sense. Okay, so health. So it looks like these three are going to be my main and these two could be dump stats? Unless, unless there is an option to be a battle mage, then probably one of those is going to come into play. Um, let's get a bit more health, and maybe each one gets a bonus. Is, um, is there a cap? Like 20 or something? I'll get more health. Uh, skills! So I have one, herbalism. Interesting. Oh, two actually, combat tactics. The character can formulate strategies quickly in battle and consequently gains a combat tactics slot. Uh, I don't necessarily know what that means. Ooh, poison making. Survival. Stealing coercion. Interesting. Trap making. Um. Character is influential enough to convince others to change their views. Strength contributes to more intimidating power. Ah. Uh, I think this game is probably going to be very conversation heavy, so. It would make sense to pick this up, especially if we're going to contribute to cunning, right? Let's do it. Uh, spells. Man, that's gonna be a lot. Okay, cool. Arcane Bolt is what we have. Flame Blast, Rock Armor, Winter's Grasp, Lightning. Oh, oh, I see. Primal creation, spirit, entropy. Entropy? Weakness. The caster drains a target of energy for 20 seconds, suffering minus 10 attack, 10 defense, and movement. Vulnerability hex. Ooh, these sound awesome. Mana drain. Mind blast. Ooh, heal. That could be a good one, too. Uh, 
how do we build our character? That's the question, isn't it? All right, so this is just a strong debuff. I kind of like this weakness thing. Paralyze, miasma, mass paralysis. Let's do that. Um, and should we, should we do like a combination of debuffing and healing? Since we are a magic user. That could be nice. Unless there's just a complete abundance of health potions in this game, which again, I don't know. It's so hard to build a character in a game that you have no idea about. Let's do that. Easy, normal, hard, nightmare. Normal. On a cliff overlooking the dark waters of Lake Kalanhad stands the tower fortress that is home to the Circle of Magi. This Magi. tower is the only place in Ferelden where mages may study their art among others of their kind. Within the high stone walls, the Circle practices its magic and trains apprentices in the proper use of their powers. But the Circle Tower is as much a prison as a refuge. The ever-vigilant Templars of the Chantry watch over all mages, constantly alert for any sign of corruption. This gilded cage is the only world you know. Found to be sensitive to magic at a young age, you were torn from your family and grafted here as an apprentice. That's brutal. Now, that apprenticeship is nearly over. All that remains is the final test, the harrowing. Magic exists to serve man, and never to rule over him. Thus spoke the prophet Andraste as she cast down the Tevinta Imperium, ruled by mages who had brought the world to the edge of ruin. Your magic is a gift, but it's also a curse. Of course. For demons of the dream realm, the Fade, are drawn to you and seek to use you as a gateway into this world. This is why the harrowing exists. The ritual sends you into the Fade, and there you will face a demon, armed with only your will. Oh my god. Uh, you guys will have to let me know if this is too small for text. So I can see it fine, but I can see how it would be not really for you guys. I am ready. Is there any other option? What happens if I cannot defeat the demon? Yeah, what, what does? It will turn you into an abomination, and the Templars will be forced to slay you. Uh, this is Lyrium, the very essence of magic, and your gateway into the Fade. The harrowing is a secret out of necessity, child. Every mage must go through this trial by fire, as we succeeded, so shall you keep your wits about you. And remember, the Fade is a realm of dreams. The spirits may rule it, but your own will is real. The Apprentice must go through this test alone, First Enchanter. You are ready. Interesting. Um, I don't know how many of you guys have ever read Wheel of Time, but this is like the Aes Sedai test. Or at least extremely reminiscent of it to me. Straight into the fray. Into the fade, I guess. Tactical view. The game can be played from a variety of tactics. Tactical viewpoints. Use the mouse wheel to bring your camera down for exploration. Oh, like this! Got it! While paused, you can issue orders to your character. Right-click on location. Does it turn? It does! Okay, good. You can issue orders in real time or while paused. Press space to unpause now. You guys know we're going to be pausing a lot if you've seen my Mass Effect playthrough. That is a lot to read. Alright, do my buttons work? I have mana, right? Yes. Good. 
Uh, can we unpause? Oh, right. Oh. You are in a combat situation. Mastery of the battlefield is important. Zoom out in combat to gain a better view of your uh, situation. You can also pause for tactical preparation by, excuse me, pressing space. Okay. All right, I'll need to get used to these controls. Okay. Can I hit it? Okay. Good. I need to read the codex. Magic and religion? The harrowing. Among the apprentices of the circle, nothing is regarded with more than fear than the harrowing. Little is known about the rite of passage. Okay, you know what? I'm going to read this, but you guys don't need to be here for it, so <laughs> I'll get back to you once I'm done. Alright, I took a look around a little bit. Um, should we just look like this? At least the camera follows us, that's nice. Okay, I can move here. I can mark him, that's good. Why am I- why are you doing this? I can't avoid things, can I? It would have been nice if I could just dodge, but that's fine. <laughs> okay. Of course. How about you do this? I should probably open with that, shouldn't I? Now, does this? It does regen. That's good. That's really good. Okay. That makes it a little better. Blood Dragon Plate. Okay. Requires 38 strength. Sure, I'll never wear that. Someone else thrown to the wolves, as fresh and unprepared as ever. It isn't right that they do this, the Templars. Not to you, me, anyone. What? Is this another mage that didn't... That didn't make it? <laughs> you think you're really here? In that body? You look like that because you think you do. It's always the same. But it's not your fault. You're in the same boat I was, aren't you? Allow me to welcome you to the Fade. You can call me... Well... Mouse. Mouse. Why were you thinking of yourself as a rat, then? You took the hero and you can change your shape? Not your real name, I take it. No. I don't remember anything from... before. The Templars kill you if you take too long, you see. They figure you failed, and they don't want something getting out. That's what they did to me, I think. I have no body to reclaim. And you don't have much time before you end up the same. Oh, that's no good. I... I don't remember. I ran away and I hid. I don't know how long. That's not going to happen to me. I'm sorry for what happened. Don't waste time with that talk. <laughs> you don't want to end up like this. Yeah, There's I certainly something don't. Here contained just for an apprentice like you. You have to face the creature, a demon, and resist it. If you can, that's your way out. Or your opponents, if the Templars wouldn't kill you. A test for you. A tease for the creatures of the Fade. Okay. Anything can die. I doubt it. It's simple as that. Why pit me against the creature? A question for those in the tower. 
Maybe you'll be lucky enough to ask. Maybe someday, so will I. There are others here. Other spirits. They will tell you more. They be help. If you can believe anything you see, I'll follow, if that's all right. My chance was long ago, but you, you may have a way out. So, can he, I don't know. A dangerous spirit is not far. Don't go near it unless you're ready to fight. Okay. I wish he would tell me where. Since he knows his way around. Um, now, oh, there is a map. Okay, let's take a look. That like, is what is this? The creature can be anywhere, but it manifests there. It does. Oh gosh. That was very loud. Was that a thing that I picked up? An herb? I guess not. You know what? Um, Codex. Where are you? Tactics? I never even saw that. Oh! That is really cool. Alright, let's go. Oh! Did we find something? Oh, we did. I just can't see it yet. Hit it! It's running away! I guess I'm not very good at hitting things. <laughs> okay. Rat, how you doing? Or mouse, sorry. What is this? Spirit of Valor. And of course there's another wisp. Wisp! You are too far away. Come on. Thank you. Um, Spirit of Valor. Where are you, sir? Another spirit this way. It never seemed equal to its name to me. Another mortal thrown into the flames and left to burn, I see. Your mages have devised a cowardly test. Better you were pitted against each other to prove your mettle with skill, than to be sent unarmed against a demon. That's not very... valorous of you, sir. I agree, but didn't have a choice. You know why I'm here? Yeah, we're not warriors. They would have you battle a demon. With magic or weapon, to be the victor makes you a warrior still. That you remain means you have not yet defeated your hunter. I wish you a glorious battle to come. Thank you. I need your help? Of course. You are not the first mortal to seek my aid. I am not here to assist you, however. My purpose is to seek perfection, creating the ultimate weapon for the pursuit of valor. I figured as much. Would one of these weapons affect the demon? Ooh. Oh, you know what? I do not know. I am Valor, a warrior spirit. I hone my weapons in search of the perfect expression of combat. Okay. Without a doubt. In this realm, everything that exists is the expression of a thought. Do you think these blades be steel? The staves be wood? Do you believe they draw blood? A weapon is a single need for battle. And my will makes that need reality. Do you truly desire one of my weapons? I will give one to you, if you agree. To duel me first. Valor shall test your metal as it should be tested. I 
probably will not survive it. Ooh! It seems you would prefer to kill me yourself. How dare you accuse me? I am no demon preying upon helpless mortals to steal their essence. I am a being of honor and valor. I am a warrior. She got really offended by that. You are insolent. But your will is unquestionably strong. <laughs> Very well, mortal. You prove to me that you possess the strength to resist this demon. Go. Prove your worth as you must. I am confident you will succeed. But no weapon for me then, huh? Okay. Well, that's fine. Oh no, he did give me one. That's good. Can I... Oh, interesting. So... Oh. What am I doing? It's a weapon slot. Plus one willpower. Okay. Cool. So I have the willpower. That's good. Why? Why would I want to do that? And that is not... I can't wear this. Shimmering orb of light. It is difficult to be sure what this elim uh, scintillating shimmering item really is, but just holding it makes you feel better. Oh. Use it to restore health. Okay. Is there? Yes. Good. Alright, we're going down. I think. No? Oh! Spirit Wolf! That's really cool. I can actually do damage! Another spirit here. Not the one hunting you, but still. Do we not like it? We like talking to spirits. Sloth demon? Maybe we don't like that one. <laughs> mm. So, you are the mortal being hunted. And the small one? Is he to be a snack for me? No. I don't like this. He's not going to help us. We should go. No matter. The demon will get you eventually. And perhaps there will even be scraps left. All right. What kind of spirit are you? It's a demon. Maybe even more powerful than the one chasing after you. Be gone. Surely you have better things to do than bother sloth, mortal. Oh, I tire of you already. I don't think he's gonna battle me. I am a spirit of sloth. Yes, a creature of the Fade. Unlike yourself, mortals are ever the visitors here. Still, you serve your function. Only the mortals like yourself are truly annoying. <laughs> Are you talking about dreamers? Don't appreciate being called annoying. Many mortals dream. They come here often, but you are not one of those. You are aware. A mortal with power and will. The sort of creature that some spirits hunger for. I might be inclined for such a meal myself. 
It would be interesting to see the mortal world through your eyes, live inside your form. But I am disinclined to begin such a struggle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, lucky me. Indeed. Now, what do you want with me? Yeah, will he help me? You have a very nice staff. Why do you need me? Go. Use your weapon since you have earned it. Be valorous. He looks powerful. It might be possible that he could teach you to be like him. Like me? Lazy? You mean teach the mortal to take this form? <laughs> Why? Most mortals are too attached to their forms to learn the change. You, on the other hand, little one, might be a better student. You let go of the human form years ago. I don't think I'd make a very good bear. How would I hide? You don't need to hide if you're a bear. We? I have faced more in this place than you can imagine. Fear is just one more thing. But you are right. Hiding doesn't help. I'm sorry, it's the Fade. It changes you. I'll try. I'll try to be a bear, if you'll teach me. That's nice. But teaching is so exhausting. <laughs> Away with you now. I kind of love this bear. I told you he wasn't going to help us. Mouse wants to learn. Teach him. You can't just suggest something and then change your minds. You wish to learn my form, little one? Then I have a challenge for your friend. Answer three riddles correctly, and I will teach you. Fail, and I will devour you both. Oh. The decision is yours. Well, good thing I saved right before. Truly? Sure, let's do well, it. Well, this gets more and more promising. My first riddle is this. I have seas with no water, coasts with no sand, towns without people, mountains without land. What am I? Coasts? Seas no water, coasts with no sand, towns without people, mountains without land. Uh... I actually don't know this riddle. Uh, the desert and the boat I don't think makes sense. Towns without people. Mountains without land. The moon? Can it be? A map? A map might make sense. Let's do that. Mm. <laughs> Correct. Let's move on. The second riddle. I'm rarely touched, but often held. If you have wit, you'll use me well. What am I? Uh... A handle, my tongue, my temper, my breath, intelligence. Tongue, right? Yes, your witty tongue. <laughs> uh, fair enough. Uh, one more try, shall we? Often will I spin a tail, never will I charge a fee. I'll amuse you an entire eve. But alas, you won't remember me. That's gotta be a dream. What am I? Right. An annoying riddler, a liar, a music, a book, spider, a dream, a dream. Uh, you are correct. Rather apropos here in the Fade, no? But you've won my challenge and proven yourself an amusing distraction. From laying around. So, I shall teach you my form. Now, listen carefully. Like this. 
Am but I a bear? It feels heavy. Needs to be more spiky. Close enough. Go then, and defeat your demon or whatever you intend to do. I grow weary of your mortal prattling. <laughs> well, thank you, sir. That was nice of you. Now, where do we go from here, though? Is there a map? Okay, so back. Oh, I must be done then, right? Spirit of Valor, Rage Demon, okay. Uh, well, let's head back, I suppose. We might be fighting something along the way, too. As is customary. Yeah, there we go. Being attacked by a shawl. Bear regenerate because I would like him to. Yes, he does. Good. Okie dokie. I keep accidentally pressing W because that's a habit of mine. <laughs> Alright, so the rage demon should be here. get him? Does he just need to talk? And so it comes to me at last. Soon I shall see the land of the living with your eyes, creature. You shall be mine, body and soul. Huh. It's two against one. You really want to fight us both? If I lose, the temperature will still cut you down. Then come and get me. Yeah. They are welcome to try. So this creature is your offering, Mouse. Another plaything as per our arrangement. What? I'm not offering you anything. I don't have to help you anymore. Oh. And after all those wonderful meals we have shared. Now suddenly the mouse has changed the rules. Mouse is now a bear. I'm not a mouse now, and soon I won't have to hide. I don't need to bargain with you. We shall see. That's cool. It is a lot more than just one. I guess maybe we will survive? Friendly fire. The powers of magic are significant, but can be uncontrollable. Magic's Mages have access to spells like Fireball that affect a whole area rather than just a single target. Okay, that's pretty typical, I would say. I also need to remember that I can... That I can heal. I missed! I don't like that. Didn't we just go? He died! I don't like that. I don't like all of these wisps either. Wait, the, this thing is almost dead. Can I heal myself? Well, if I run, this is getting dangerous. Okay. So I need to use this then. Oh, he didn't die. Did it. That's good. When you came, I hoped that maybe you might be able to 
But I never really thought any of you were worthy. Sounds like your help was unusual. Why? The ones you betrayed before me, what were their names? Oof. I want to act, answer, or I guess use all of these lines. You made me believe in you. You're a true mage. One of the few. The others, they never had a chance. The Templars set them up to fail, like they tried with you. I regret my part in it. But you have shown me that there is hope. You can be so much more than you know. I understand necessity. What now? Anything to survive like an animal, or worse. So what is it that you think you can get from me? You defeated a demon. You completed your test. With time, you will be a master enchanter with no equal. And maybe there's hope in that for someone as small and as forgotten as me. If you want to help, there may be a way for me to leave here, to get a foothold outside. You just need to want to let me in. Hello, demon. Hmm. I'll find mages away from the Templars. We'll get you out. What? What are you... Of course it was! What else is here that could harm an apprentice of your potential? A cunning demon? <laughs> you are a smart one. Simple killing is a warrior's job. The real dangers of the Fade are preconceptions. Careless trust. Pride. Oh no! Well, now I'm not sad that he died. Keep your wits about you, mage. True tests never end. What was your name? I kind of wish the subtitles would tell you, but I understand that's probably part of the mystery. Are you alright? Say something, please. Hi! Hi, demon! <laughs> Where am I? This the fade? No, clearly. Oh, I'm glad you're alright. They carried you in this morning. I didn't even realize you'd been gone all night. I've heard about apprentices who never come back from Harrowings. Is it really that dangerous? What was it like? I probably can't talk about it, can I? Oh, yeah. It was harrowing. Oh my god. Do I need a drum roll? That was a test of ability, that's all. Stop pestering me, Joan. Okay. <laughs> so much for friendship. I'll leave you alone then. And now you get to move to the nice mages' quarters upstairs. I'm stuck here and I don't know when they'll call me for my harrowing. Don't be pouty. Don't worry so much about it. I passed my test. That's all I care about now. Any day now, probably. I've been here longer than you have. Sometimes I think they just don't want to test me. Maybe you're just not ready. Doesn't everyone go through the harrowing? What are you talking about? The Tranquil never go through a harrowing. You do the harrowing, the Rite of Tranquility, or you die. That's what happens. The Rite of Tranquility? Is that like stilling? I'm guessing. You've seen the Tranquil around the tower. Like a Wayne who runs the stockroom. He's so cold. No, not even cold. There's just nothing in him. It's like he's dead but still walking. His voice, his eyes are lifeless. That's what I think it is. I'll watch for that next time I talk to Owain. What did they do to him? I think you're reading too much into it. He's been made tranquil. I don't know how they do it exactly, but you're cut off from the fade. It takes away your magic abilities, along with your dreams and emotions. So we get our magic through the Fade? That's curious. No emotions. That doesn't sound too bad. That, that sounds quite can awful. can ask to be made tranquil if they fear the harrowing. 
But the circle also forces tranquility on those they feel are weak. And sometimes they force it upon apprentices they think might be too dangerous as mages. I shouldn't waste your time with this. I was supposed to tell you to see Irving as soon as you woke up. Okay. I should go talk to him immediately. Where is he? He said he'd be in his study upstairs. You'd better not keep him waiting. We can speak later. Now I'm moving. We're never talking again. <laughs> Leveling up. Oh, I see. Very cool. Three points. Nice. Um, well, I am certainly glad that I put those two points into health. Health. Specialization. Ooh. Arcane warrior. Maybe that's what I need. Plus one dexterity, plus five attack. Among the ancient elves, there were mages who trained their magical arts to augment their martial powers. They channeled magical powers through their weapons and bodies, becoming terrors on the battlefield. This is perfect, I think. However, I need to get there. I want to get there. Blood mage sounds cool, too. All right. All right. I will read all Did of this is she all right? on my own. Is she awake? Why do you care? Are you best friends now? I'm just curious. That Templar, Cullen, said it was the quickest, cleanest harrowing he'd ever seen. He says she's very talented and very brave. Well, I'm right he would, here. Wouldn't he? I just know I'll be terrified when my time comes. Like Wendell was. He throw up every day for the next week just thinking about it. Vanity. Interesting. Okay. Um, I don't know if I should be talking to all of these people. Oh, cool. Very cool. All right. Um, well, let's go. We need to go upstairs eventually. That is not upstairs, but I want to go here. Did you hear? Hear what? I heard they suspect someone of dabbling in blood magic. Why would anyone do something so stupid? That's a death. That's forbidden. Ooh, I want to take it all. Acolyte staff. I guess I don't have a staff anymore because I'm not in there. Bend others to your will? That sounds lovely. There's another vanity. Okay. This is a very open bathroom and I do not appreciate it. <laughs> Alright. Acolyte staff. We are getting it. Okay. Let's look around. Ooh, there's another one. Lesser Lyrium potion. A potion that contains a small amount of refined Lyrium. Oh, a mana potion. Nice. Alright, that is going downstairs, and that is not where we want to go. Lovely. Blank vellum. Ooh. That is curious. Fill the fire with your will. Keep the flames steady. We don't want it sputtering and leaping about. That's what causes most of the injuries. <laughs> injuries? Oh. But, but, but... Steady. It reacts to your emotions. If you panic, it will... No, no, no. Breathe. Oh my god! Thank you. Know, you. Thank you for doing that. <laughs> Alright, classrooms. I Ah, this is the stair that I need. I'm I guessing. Experience. Flint and Tinder works just as well. Maybe we should start with that. <laughs> Do any of you remember what the Chantry says about magic? Magic must serve man and not rule over him. Very good. And what do you think that means? Can anyone tell me? No. Hey! Hello. No, that's not what it means. <laughs> it means that magic... <laughs> Ooh! I put all my power behind that spell you... Oh, that victory. was cool! I am not your enemy. Fear is your enemy. It is a weakness that can be exploited. That was very cool. 
I can't read this. I don't think. So, up we go. I'll need to check downstairs, too. Oh, Wayne! We can talk to you. And check just how lifeless you are. First Enchanter Irving. Irving Study Chapel. Lab. Dorm. Oh, this must be where I, be I will be living, then. Um. Oh, Wayne. Welcome to the Circle Stockroom of Magical Items. My name is Owain. How may I assist you? He does seem pretty lifeless. What can I buy here? The Stockroom is not a shop. Your mentor should have clarified this. The Stockroom stores components used in magical and alchemical experiments. Do you require something? Uh... Is this a rude question, asking him if he's a tranquil mage? Probably. I voluntarily submitted to the right of tranquility. I was unwilling to undergo the harrowing. I find this state agreeable. I mean, if it works for him, it works for him. I suppose that could be nice. Don't you think what they did to you is cruel? Tranquility has its merits. I see the world with clarity. I remember the days when my mind was filled with inconvenient and seething emotions. Now things are simple. Okay. And now you're- that is rude. What happened? I was ordered to never speak of it. I cannot go against the Circle's wishes. Fair enough. I guess I can't speak of my ritual Very too. Very well. Goodbye. Um, Tranquil. That's just his name? Tranquil? That's all of their names. Well. I guess we'll go exploring. All of them are Tranquil. Senior Enchanter Torin. Niall. Alright. Soften a little on the liberty. I think someone's here to speak to you, Senior Torin. I wanted to speak to Niall, actually. Hello. Were you looking for something? What were you talking to the other mage about? Who are you? Just books. I'm Niall, a mage just like you. Oh, Niall. I've seen you around, haven't I? I must have. Oh, the fraternities. Groups of mages with a common agenda. <sighs> I think we should all be isolationists. Stay in some remote mountain town far away from the mundanes who hate us. Mundanes? Uh, okay. Oh, wow. Why don't you go off then? I'd go hide alone in the wilds if I could. But you know they just brand me an apostate and hunt me down. There is no leaving the circle. It's till death do us part. Romantic, isn't it? Huh. If you leave the circle, you become an apostate, and the punishment for leaving is death. Pretty grim, huh? I'd say. There must be mages who aren't part of a circle. Why would anyone leave the circle? It's a punishment well deserved. I've heard of hedge witches who've managed to survive on their own, eluding the circle for a lifetime. But if the Templars discover them, well, you know what happens. Then there are stories about the Dalish elf clans having great magic. But who knows what's truth and what's fiction when it comes to the Dalish? I would like to meet some. I should get going. Alright, have a good day. So, okay, you get discovered, essentially, when you have a talent for magic. Carted off to this tower here, and not let out, ever? Hello, congratulations on your heroing last night, good work. Tell me about the fraternities. Uh, oh, they're found in all circles throughout Thedas. Groups of enchanters who hold similar viewpoints, who band together to make their voices heard. The most influential fraternity are the Equitarians. They are moderates and believe in a code of conduct that all majors should adhere to. Then there are the Chantry apologists, the loyalists. The Chantry says something and they follow it to the letter. 
The Lucrosians just want to make money. <laughs> and the isolationists would like us all to be hermits and live on an island. Then, of course, there are the Libertarians. They want more power for the circle, more autonomy. Libertarians. Interesting. Okay. Huh. Well, if I had to, I'd say I was an Equitarian. But I ducked out of the fray a long time ago. Most of the senior enchanters are Equitarians. Irving, Wynne, Sweeney. Ulred's a Libertarian, and a loud one at that. Ah, mages have enough opposition from the outside without tearing our circles apart with infighting. But what can you do? Okay. Give enough doesn't help anyone. An idealist, I see. Well, if you're going to change the world, you should get started immediately. <laughs> Lots of world to cover. I love that response. That's awesome. Okay. Now let's see. Where else can we go? And who else can we talk to? Senior Enchanter Sweeney. Um... Mages of the Circle. Okay, so Irving is the one that I need. Oh, uh, hello. I don't believe we've met. Are you new to the Circle? I would say. Are you daft? <laughs> I'm sorry. There are so many of you and I get confused. Not to mention, these old eyes are starting to go. Start? Oh my gosh, that some of these are amazing. Everyone makes mistakes. You're too kind. I'm old and about to fall apart. Nothing in the world can fix that. If you say so. Magic could... Yeah, why can't you heal yourself with Not magic? Not any magic I'd be caught doing. Anyway, did you need something? I just wanted to talk. I think I should go. And he just nods. Amazing. Let's get in here because I saw something shiny. Of course, no one would mind me looking, right? Lyrium dust. After inhaling lyrium dust, the user gains 10 mana. Mm. Okay, cool. I can get behind that. Library. Let's check you out. Sweet. Ooh, there's another. Lovely. Lovely indeed. Mage. Unnamed. <laughs> what are you? Also mage? Oh, right. This, these are the dorms. And I just robbed someone's armoire. Colin? I'll talk to you in a second, mister. Oh, no, go back. Private documents, mmm. Can I look at it? A list of household accounts and expenditures over time. Useful for merchants negotiating contracts and wages. Type generic. Should I? Can I take it? I don't know if there's going to be any use for it, but might as well. All right, Colin. Oh, um, uh, hello. I, uh, I'm glad to see your harrowing went smoothly. Hello, Colin. Th they picked me as the Templar to strike the killing blow if, if you became an abomination. It's nothing personal, I swear. I, uh, I, I'm just glad you're all right, you know? Well, this is awkward. Maybe some, but not me. It's my duty to hunt down apostate mages, but... I do so with a heavy heart. You're a good person, Colin. Oh, you're not distracting. I mean, you are, but... 
Well, you're not. I mean, you can talk to me anytime, if you want. Uh, uh, yes. Maybe we can talk another time. That's adorable. Truly. Is this locked? No, it is not. Senior Enchanter Leora. Mage and Mage. Did I level up again? I think I did. I hope no one's upset at me for, you know, taking all of this stuff. Let's level up, I suppose. Or did ah, I just did not ever actually confirm? Is that right? Next. Ah, I did not finish this. I see. Okay. Well. We can do Paralyze. Miasma. Oof. 35 magic. Well, let's do it. That sounds good. Play. Okay, now it actually worked. Good. Let's talk to Leora. No? Oh, it's you. I hear Irving's looking for you. Oh. I thought I heard her say that, but for some reason. First Enchanter Irving. Ah, I was well on the way to him. Gotcha. Well, let's keep going, I guess. Hello? Kaylee. Blessed art thou who exists in the sight of the Maker. Blessed are the penitents who seek his return. Blessed is the prophetess, purified by flame. May the chant reach the Maker's ears and tell him of our contrition. So let it be. Oh, I didn't see you there. Yeah, I'm just creeping I on you. I recite the Maker's blessings every day. It brings me peace in troubled times. I should not interrupt your meditations. Are you in trouble? Just speaking words brings you peace. I don't find comfort. Oh, all right then. I should go. My mentor only allows a few minutes each day for religious contemplation. Uh, yeah. I can understand. Lely. I heard about your harrowing. Congratulations. Andraste must have smiled upon you. <laughs> they must have. I heard about your harrowing. Gotcha. Congratulations. Andraste must have smiled upon you. Okay. Oh! We're here. Many have already gone to Ostagar. Wynne, Aldred, and most of the senior mages. We've committed enough of our own to this war effort. Your own? <laughs> Since when have you felt such kinship with the mages, Gregor? Or are you afraid to let the mages out from under Chantry supervision, where they can actually use their maker-given powers? How dare you suggest? Gentlemen, please. Irving, someone is here to see you. Hi. Ah, if it isn't our new sister in the circle. Come, child. Sister. This is... Yes, this is she. Well, Irving, you're obviously busy. We will discuss this later. Of course. Well, then, uh, where was I? Oh, yes, this is Duncan of the Grey Wardens. Okay. This is the guy that we saw in the intro, isn't he? Is this why you had me summoned? Pleased to meet you, Grey Warden, in the tower. What's he doing here? Let's be polite. 
You've heard about the war brewing to the south, I expect. Duncan is recruiting mages to join the king's army at Ostagar. Are they gonna send me off right after I did the test? That's interesting. I would like to defend Ferelden. Who are we fighting? Why? That's all you wanted to tell me? Um, why? Mages are uniquely equipped to combat Darkspawn. What are Darkspawn? They are twisted monsters that dwell underground where the sun's light cannot touch them. They have formed into a horde in the Kokari Wilds and threaten to invade north into the valley. I fear if we don't drive them back, we may see another blight. Duncan, you worry the poor girl with talk of blights and darkspawn. This is a happy day for her. We live in troubled times, my friend. We should seize moments of levity, especially in troubled times. That's fair. The heroing is behind you. Your phylactery was sent to Denerim. You are officially a mage within the circle of magi. Okay. Thank you, First Enchanter. So, I want to ask about the phylactery, but I feel like my character should already know that, even though I don't. Well, does that make sense? Okay, I'm asking. You may not remember, but blood was taken from you when you first came to us. This blood is preserved within a phylactery. So they can be hunted if they turn apostate. Ah. We have few choices. The gift of magic is looked upon with suspicion and fear. We must prove we are strong enough to handle our power responsibly. You have done this. I present you with your robes, your staff, and a ring bearing the circle's insignia. Wear them proudly, for you have earned them. Does that mean that my blood is not gonna be used now? Something tells me, not really. I'm glad to be part of the circle. What happens now? Thank you. Okay, thank you. It goes without saying that you shall not discuss the harrowing with those who have not undergone the rite. Now then, take your time to rest or study in the library. The day is yours. Can I leave the tower? I'd prefer to talk now. Not yet. Remember, the tower's walls protect us as much as they protect others from us. I will return to my quarters. This Would is like be so kind is to escort Duncan back to his room, child. An insane asylum when they just don't let you out. Period. Does Duncan not know where his quarters are? If I must. Okay. The guest quarters are on the east side of this floor close to the library. Now, if you'll both excuse me, I have matters to discuss with Gregor. Right. Duncan. Thank you for walking with me. I'm glad for the company. Let's just move along. I wanted to talk to you a little more. I didn't have much choice. Yes? What about? Have there been many darkspawn attacks? What the Grey Wardens do? A horde has formed within the Korkari Wilds in the south. If they are not stopped, they will strike north into the valley. We Grey Wardens believe that an archdemon is leading the horde. Of course. We can't seem to eradicate them completely. Somehow they always come back. Mm. Let's just be off. I've heard about Darkspawn sightings. And the king is mustering an army? Why were Irving and Gregor arguing about the war? It is not my place to comment. Persuade? Ooh, can we do that? Gregor serves the Chantry, and the relationship between the Chantry and mages has always been strained. You've realized by now that the Chantry merely tolerates magic? They watch only because they feel they must. I don't see why the Chantry and mages can't get along. Yes, but they were arguing about the war. Is that all they were arguing about? No. 
Any mages who join the King's army can unleash their full power on the Darkspawn. In fact, I'm counting on it. Gregor may be afraid of what will happen. What if the mages decide they no longer want to be governed by the Chantry? I wouldn't blame them in the slightest. I never liked Gregor. We should continue in our way. I believe we must defeat the Darkspawn, one way or another. My opinions end there. Okay, fine. Yes, let's. Very diplomatic. Let's see. So where do I need to go then? Templar. A mage in a circle. Guest quarters. Oh, okay. Um, well, let's head over to his room, if we can get there. Can I... What is this? He's just sitting there? Weird. I thought I could go through, but I suppose not. Tranquil. This way, sir. Thank you for escorting me. It's running right outside the door. Uh, do you want to talk now? Is there something else I can do for you? I should probably leave you alone. How many mages have joined the army? Do you ever s uh ooh. Um Ah, I imagine you don't leave very often, do you? Or ever? I am not a good source of news, I fear. I am preoccupied with the Darkspawn incursion. Okay. When the King sent out the call, the Circle of Ferelden sent only seven mages to Ostagar. I asked King Caelan's permission to come and seek a greater commitment from the Circle. Seven is quite a few. It doesn't sound very much. Like very much. I hope to place a mage or two within every contingent. I cannot do with just seven. Mages will make all the difference in this battle. The Darkspawn have their own magic, and our resources must exceed theirs. It's logical. Do you think I could join the army? Ooh, that way maybe I could leave? I don't know. Do you? I think I could help. Yes. I doubt I would be allowed to go. Then perhaps I, I shall speak to Irving about this later. Darkspawn are a greater threat than blood mages, even abominations. It takes decades for the world to recover from a blight. I wish the Chantry could see that. We must stop at nothing to defeat the Darkspawn. <laughs> ah, listen to me. An old man's rantings can't be very interesting. I can't imagine they would let me know. I'm newly ascended. It was actually quite interesting, but I should go. I learned much as an apprentice. Old men talking have defined my life. Amazing. Um? Do not let me keep you. All right, sir. What are you running at? Hi. Oh, Joan. I'm glad I caught up to you. Are you done talking with Irving? What are you doing up here? Hello again, Joan. I think I am for now. I need to talk to you. Do you remember what we discussed this morning? The harrowing, yes. Why are you whispering? Can this wait? Of course I do. We should go somewhere else. I don't feel safe talking here. You're starting to worry me. Yeah. I've been troubled. I'll explain. Come with me, please. Are you trying to assassinate me? I'm not paranoid, by the way. Not at all. We should be safe here. Hello? You realize there is a priest standing right here? <laughs> not a priest. I am merely an initiate. Who are you? Joan, what's going on? A few months ago, I told you that I met a girl. 
This is Lily. Yes, we talked to Lily. Kind of talked. My condolences. Oh my god, this fat cow is your lover? Oh no. I was beginning to doubt her existence. Okay. So you can see why we wish to keep it a secret. Lily's been given to the Chantry. She's not allowed to have relations with men. If anyone finds out, we'll both be in trouble. Why are you telling me then? Love will conquer all? Mm, you should rethink this. You can trust me. Did you bring me here to talk about your affair? Yeah, what? I wish that was the only thing I needed to talk about. Remember I said that I didn't think they wanted to give me my harrowing? I know why. They're going to make me tranquil. They'll take everything that I am from me. My dreams, hopes, fears, my love for Lily. All gone. Why do you think so, though? If you... But if you can't feel, then you can't feel sad about it. it sounds terrible. I mean, I don't understand what it has to, to do with escape. me. I need to escape. I need to destroy my phylactery. Without it, they can't track me down. We need your help. Lily and I can't do this on our own. Give us your word that you will help, and we will tell you what we intend. Uh... I can't imagine they would like that very much. Can't you ex just explain everything to someone? I need to think this over. What do I do to get out of helping you? You have my word, Lily. I need to think this over, I guess. I suppose that's fair. But please, give us your answer soon. Time is running out. What are you doing? Uh... Help Joan and Lily in their plan to escape. Oof. You can choose to help Joan and Lily, but you could also consider alerting the Circle to their plan. I don't like this whole thing. About, um, just keeping us locked away. I'm inclined to help them. Are you going to help us? Yes, yes. You have my word. Thank you. We will never forget this. Tell me your plan, and make it quick. What do you intend to do? I can get us into the repository, but there is a problem. There are two locks on the phylactery chamber door. The first enchanter and knight commander each hold one key. But it is just a door. There is power enough in this place to destroy all of Ferelden. What's a door to mages? They want me to destroy the door? That is gonna be loud. It can't be that easy. I once saw a rod of fire melt through a lock. You could get one from the stockroom, but a Wayne doesn't release such things to apprentices. Wouldn't it be a little suspicious if I get one and then there's a hole in the lock all of a sudden? I know what I have to do. Okay, fine, I'll retrieve it. One mage at the stockroom will attract less attention than a mage, an apprentice, and an initiate. Good idea. Good luck. Our prayers go with you. Thanks. Well, I just ascended and I already got in trouble. It's very typical. Alright, Owain. On that note, can I sneak? I don't think so. I should be able to sneak. Hmm. Welcome to the Circle Stockroom of Magical Items. My name is Owain. How may I assist you? I need a Rod of Fire. Rods of Fire serve many purposes. Why do you wish to acquire this particular item? I need the Rod for my research into burning things. <laughs> what can the Rods be used for? I feel like this is kind of a silly response considering I just requested one. Here is the form, Request for Rod of Fire. 
Have it signed and dated by a senior enchanter. God damn it. I will it. release a rod to you once I have the signed form. That is not good. Why can't you just give it to me now? It is procedure. I need a senior mage's authorization to release an item. Thank you. Well, that was useless. On my part. I guess first enchanter Irving? Leora. Let's try Leora first, I guess. Let's see what she says. Yes? Who are you? What's that door over there? Can you sign this form for me? Rod of Fire? No, I'm not signing this. I don't know what you need it for, and I barely know you. Ask someone else. That's fair. Have a nice day. I guess I understand that. Um, maybe Irving? Maybe that could be my graduation present? I trust you saw Duncan back to his quarters? I sure did. I'm glad you met him. He's a most honorable man. I need to talk to you about something. He seemed like... I agree. It was my privilege to have met him. We spoke a little. Grey Wardens are peerless warriors who sacrifice all for our sakes. We can learn much from them. Now, did you need something? Yes, a certain rod of fire. When is Joan going through the harrowing? What is that? I when wonder. Is ready. And how does he know this? I suppose the young initiate he dallies about with revealed it to him. You think I didn't know? I did not become first enchanter by keeping my eyes and ears shut. Oops. Don't do this to Joan. So it's true. I am afraid it is. Gregor says he has proof, and eyewitness testimony, that Jowen has been practicing blood magic. I cannot say more. Were it left what? to me, things might be different. But the Chantry... I'm sorry, child. This rite of tranquility will happen. So he is the one that the guys were talking about then, huh? Gregor must be making this up. He hates all mages. Let us not speak ill of my colleague. Our colleague. You know little of this, and I ask you to hold your tongue. So I'm guessing he doesn't want to sign uh, my form then. You know this is wrong. I have nothing more to say. Perhaps one day you will see it from my side. So he's not going to sign my form because he probably already knows. You have returned. Does something require my attention? Just stopped by to say hello. Okay. Well, damn. Find a senior mage willing to sign it. Um, there's no one else here, so I gotta need to go downstairs then. Let's give it a go. Now that I have it confirmed, I feel super bad about him going through that right. But also, was he really practicing the blood mate magic? It doesn't look like anyone wants to talk to me here. But there was another... Another stair. 
that I saw. Oh, maybe. Enchanter Apprentice. Okay. I was hoping maybe one of those would be senior. <laughs> Any mages in the basement? That does not sound good. Not possible to pick. Who are you and why can't I look at you? Alright, I guess I can't be there. I should go talk to Joe and, and uh, maybe he'll tell me more about blood magic. I have an alternative question. Can I... Oh, Ring of Study. I didn't even look at this. Mage robes. Oh, okay. That's nice. What did they do? Plus willpower, plus magic. Magic staff iron. That must be the same one that I have, right? Oh, mine is actually better. Okay. Um... Joan? Can we talk? I finally found them. I hate waiting. It makes me nervous. Joan. I need this form stamped. Really? What? But let's talk about blood magic first. No. God damn it. Are you ready to go? I'm not ready yet. I hate waiting. It makes me nervous. Okay. You need a senior mages Stan? I wasn't expecting that. You can't ask Irving, obviously. I'd send you to Wynne, but I think she went to Ostagar. There are a few other senior enchanters, but they might ask why you need the rod, and we don't want to draw attention to ourselves. Hmm. I suppose there's old Sweeney. He might help. Sweeney. Don't think I know. He doesn't Sweeney? teach or mentor anymore. Spends his time reading the same few books in the library over and over. I see him sometimes when I'm down there. He's easy to overlook being so bent over and all. The man's ancient. His story is sad. Sweeney was married to a non-mage. His children came here a few years ago to take him home. Is he home then? The Templars turned them down flat. They thought an old mage who might not have full control over his faculties was a danger. Okay. Is that the guy who couldn't really see? Were they afraid he would become an abomination? Why didn't they just make him tranquil? I guess. I bet they would have put him down if they could. That's just how things are for mages, isn't it? Torn from our families as children, we choose tranquility or harrowing, or turn apostate and get hunted down by the Templars. Or become abominations, go mad, and then get hunted down like dogs by the Templars. Should you survive all that, your reward is spending the rest of your lonely days gibbering to yourself in a cold tower. So, would he then become an abomination if he just runs away? Do I really want to put that on myself? The Chantry makes us out to be monsters when we aren't. I've never seen an abomination, have you? And apostates are usually just trying to eke out miserable existences in spite of their magical curses. It makes me ill. Anyway, try old Sweeney. He's a nice old man, if a little befuddled. Okay, I'll go find him. Uh, eatery? What are you? Do you need something? If not, step back. You're in my light. Jesus, okay. Are you surprised? 
We are probably more attuned to magic than humans are. Or at least our ancestors must have been. With most of our history lost, I suppose I'll never really know. Maybe the Dalish elves would, but I've never met one. I would like to. They live in the wilderness, traveling where they will. I've heard they keep the old beliefs alive. I wouldn't want to be a Dalish elf. I would. <laughs> As do I. Perhaps one day I will have the chance to learn it. Are you from an alienage? I'm from a farm outside High Ever. My mother worked as the cook's assistant there. Okay. I'm from the alienage in Denerim. Can't quite remember where I was from. They must have taken you away when you were very young. I suppose it doesn't matter where we're from, does it? We're in the circle now. Sadly. I am satisfied knowing the humans who look down upon me will fear me instead. But I should get back to my books. That's fine. Good day. Okay. Um, there were other people here. We talked to Duncan. We talked to these guys. Um, I'll go downstairs. I think I remember where I talked to that guy. Wait, no. He's here. Ah, it's you again. Or at least I think it is. You all look the same to me. <laughs> Does he have face blindness or just regular blindness? What's this? A request form from the stockroom? Proud of fire? I remember when the junior mages I mentored asked for some of those. Turns out they were burning holes in each other's trousers. One boy burned peepholes into the female apprentice's dormitory. <laughs> you're oh, not harassment. In any such rubbish, are you? No, of course you're not. Look at you. <laughs> so angelic. Well, I won't ask why you'd need it. Tower's too boring lately. Tell you what. I'll put my name on this form, like so, and if you get the chance, burn a big hole in the seat of the trousers of the Templar that patrols the library. Do that for old sweetie, won't you? Bastard's always given me the stink eye. Will do. You'll be on your way now. Okay, so we got the rod, and now I can go back to the center and talk to you. Welcome to the Circle Stockroom of Magical Items. My name is Owain. How may I assist you? Here's the signed form. Everything looks to be in order. Here is the rod you requested. Now what does it look like? Uh, oh, I guess it would be in quest items. Cool. Uh, now, I guess we'll go fuck shit up. <laughs> we should probably talk to them, though. They are here. I hate waiting. It makes me nervous. I have the Rod of Fire. That was quick! To the repository, then. Freedom awaits. Oh, this is not gonna end well. For me. Definitely not for them. So, this must be the repository, then. Right? Yes? What is that door over there? That leads to the Circle's cavern storerooms. There are caves running through the rock that the Circle is built upon. But of course you know this. Of course I do. Do they have rods of fire in there? <laughs> uh... uh... No, uh, I, I can't let anyone in there just now. Yeah, why? What's going on? There are just things in there that I would prefer to keep safe. 
Are you stealing from the circle stores? What things? Keep safe? Aren't the circle stores meant to be used? Yes, but I... I am in the midst of stock taking, checking inventory, and I, I can't let anyone in there in case they m mess things up. Yes. You're a little shady, aren't you? Quite a while. Don't wait up. <laughs> You're hiding something in there, aren't you? Wait, no, don't. I, I... Look, I'll tell you the truth. Just keep it to yourself. There is an infestation of spiders in the caves. I don't oh, know how gross. they got in there, but it's probably my fault. I was promoted to senior enchanter less than a fortnight ago, and I don't want anyone to find out. They'll think I'm incompetent. Do you need any help? I could use some, I'm sure. I've been too busy with my new duties. I haven't been able to deal with the spiders. Ah, you need a senior enchanter to authorize your request for that rod. If you help me, I'll sign the form. I already got it. I'm a mage. I don't have a vast personal fortune. You could pilfer some items from the stores, but I, I don't recommend it. All right, all right, I'll Wonderful. do it. Here is the key. Oh, and be careful in there. I'd really like to keep the damage done to the circle's property to a minimum. That's not good. Um, okay, so we can do this. Or we can go and find out what to do with the door. Should I be going downstairs for that? Go to the basement. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Oh, I am so getting myself in trouble. The Chantry calls this entrance the Victim's Door. It is built of 277 planks, one for each original Templar. It is a reminder of all the dangers those cursed with magic pose. Thank you. The doors can be opened only by a Templar and a mage entering together. The Chantry provides the password which primes the ward, and the mage touches it with mana to release it. That's not good. The ward only responds to the touch of one who has been through the harrowing. Oof. Yes, I got it from a Templar who recently accompanied a mage into the vault. And they never change it? We have chatted on many occasions. I believe he trusts me. First the password. Sword of the Maker, Tears of the Fae. Okay. I heard something. The password only primes the door. Now it must feel the touch of mana. Any spell will do, but hurry. I am so in trouble. There was this guy. Unless he's a statue. He might be a statue. No, he looks like a guy. Do you have the rod with you? Melt the locks off. Ah, uh, I feel so bad about this. Or so conflicted, I guess. Protected. What's the matter? Why isn't it working? I don't know. I do know it's probably protected. Lily, something's not right. I can't cast spells here. Nothing works. These Makes sense, doesn't carved it? Into the stone. This must be the Templar's work. They negate any magic cast within this area. I should have guessed. Why would Gregor and Irving use simple keys for such a door? Because magical keys don't work. How do you keep mages away from something? Make their powers completely worthless. That's it then. We're finished. We can't get in. There must be another entrance. The door there. Where does it lead? I don't know. Do you think it's another way in? That door probably leads to another part of the repository. What are the chances of there being another entrance? Do we have a choice? 
Or we could just forget this foolishness and leave. Hmm. No. We can't get into the chamber the way we planned. But we're not about to give up. We can see where this door leads. But I don't think it'll be easy. It looks locked for one. Onward then. And it might be guarded, yeah. Let's pray the Maker smiles on us. Let's hurry, we've wasted enough time. Yeah, I don't know about that. <laughs> I'm not giving up, we've come too far. Not very fiery of that rod of fire. Of course, Sentinel. And now I have to kill him. God damn it. What am I supposed to do? Can I paralyze him? I'm so sorry. I just graduated. Is there more? Who do we have here? What are they? More sentinels? Locked item? It doesn't even say. She does not sound very good, does she? Oh my goodness. I'm so in trouble. Yes, you can. Lovely. Oh. How to get the entire tower against me in the first five minutes of my playthrough. Of course. As you desire. Well, I guess we're committed now. Well, all right. Apprentice cowl. Cool. Can I have that? Oh, I do not like that at all. Can I hide it? Because it's awful. Ugh. I suppose I will look in the settings if I can do that. Because that is horrendous. Of course. Are they mechanical? Or are they alive? We did that. <sighs> this is not going to end well. 
I, as I keep repeating. What is that? Why is it headless? There's three of you! Although this one is not aggroed yet. Well, all right. <laughs> oh, goody. They're gonna kill me. I'm gonna die. Heal myself. Yes. Stunned. Oh, he's dead. That can't be good. Oh, I guess he's not dead. <laughs> You know what? I'm just proving Templars right at this point, that mages are damn dangerous. I don't even know what I'm shooting at. Lovely. Oh, I see. Oh, is that right? That's no good. Resist it? Oh, you jerk! Lily is still alive. Okay, we're not in combat anymore. Good. Well, isn't this lovely? <laughs> what is this? There's cages in here. Lovely. Flame rune? Weapon room? You can upgrade your weapons by enchanting them. Ooh, that is really cool. My inventory is going to be a mess in this game, I just guarantee you. Where did we end up, first of all? Oh, there's a long ways to go there. Okay. Okay, let's paralyze you. Away with and attack you now. Idiots! So dead. Oh, jerk. Jerk. Lily's dead now. All of them are dead now. As you desire. 
Run away! And heal up! And so I shall. And of course you heal now. Can I run away again? This is getting dangerous. I'm gonna die. Okay. Can I eat this? This is use. Did it help? Okay, we're somewhere. I really, really <laughs> need to finish this. This room might be my demise. Or not. Private documents and amulet. Okay, you know what? I don't know what it does, but I want to have it. Alright guys, I am going to end this here. Uh, I already played for a lot longer than I intended to, but I am kind of in love with this. It's a little tricky to get used to, I guess, because I'm basically controlling my entire character and the entire game with just my mouse at this point. Which is a bit weird for me, but um, I'm I'm into this. I don't know uh, how big of a mistake I'm making by attempting to help these guys, especially after going through the heroin trial and they were talking about trust being put into um, not necessarily the best things. So uh, I'm questioning my characters and my own mental fortitude at this point, but we'll see where this leads. Um, curious to find out how the rest of the tower is going to react to what I've done after I do it. So, uh, quite excited to learn more of it. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, it could be on the longer side, depending on how it turns out in post. But I am really into it. So, hopefully you liked it. And uh, if you did, please consider leaving me a like and subscribing, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye for now.